Is there a crisis in hearing loss and tinnitus in the UK? I would say that we're heading towards one. So you've got the idea that the baby boomers are getting older, the younger people today with iPod and iPhones and there's more music and headphones. If someone walks past and you can hear their music, they're damaging their ears. So it would be that imagine about 10 year time, 20 year time, 30 year time, especially considering people are living longer, they will probably see more hearing loss and we'll see more tinnitus than we see right now. What do you hope people will get out of today's event? Well, I'm just kind of hoping that people might be able to take away something, a tip or something. When someone says something in a certain way, you think, oh, that makes sense, that fits with me. So certainly the talk that I gave earlier, what about the idea that people do sit there thinking their tinnitus are getting worse. But what it really is, people are getting more anxious about their tinnitus and are paying more attention to it. So arguably that means that if you can become less anxious, your tinnitus will seem to get better. So it works both ways, but people have got to be aware of what's going on. So if anything, information about what tinnitus actually is. What do you say to people who are experiencing symptoms of tinnitus or hearing loss? Uh, the one thing I was, first of all, I have it. And the fact that I went through a phase of not being able to cope with it, and then I came out the other side. It didn't change, my hearing loss hasn't changed, the level of deafness I had hasn't changed. What I thought about it has changed. So again, it, rather than seeing it as something that is, deaf, is happening to you, you've got to suck it up then it's the idea that there are things that you can do to make it better. Having said that, you can never make it go away, but you can make it so that you don't care about it. So some people are surprised by that. I have tinnitus, I hear it every day, and I, I don't care. But 10 years ago I did, and you find you can change these things. Will we ever find a cure for tinnitus? I don't know, because if you start to think about the damage, there are some interesting things coming out now when they find out that there are certain drugs used in chemotherapy, which tend to result in people developing tinnitus as a side effect and you get a rapid ageing of the hair cells. It's basically you get tinnitus, you know, it, it speeds up. So as we understand that process and anything to do with you know, the chemical interactions, then you can start thinking about years down the line and probably some decades away, pharmacological interventions. But certainly if we get a better understanding about what tinnitus is, we just think more about interventions that work. Personally, as a psychologist, I think that personality has a lot to do with it with the idea that certain therapies work for some people, but less well for others. So if you happen to try the wrong thing and it doesn't work, you might give up. But if only you tried something else, you'd get some benefit. So I do think at the moment there's a one side fits all. And as we get a little bit more clever and we think in terms of individualised treatment for individual people, I think we'll see things get better. Why Glasgow? Why not Glasgow? So I know for a fact is that my dad was born in Glasgow and I've always had a hankering to come back for, once in a while. I know that um, I, did, I went to university, first of all, in Scotland, and I kind of missed it. So I just like the idea of actually being able to come up, help Alan, who's a lovely guy, and to just simply come across more people. I drive around the north of England and see places like Ilkley and Manchester and all this. It's a different it's Scotland, and I like it. What's the one positive you could take away from today's This Scotland event? Definitely, I would say not just one, there's been a lot. Um, talk, like, as I say, talking to other people who suffer and just hearing their side and knowing that you're not alone. I know one of the talks was you're not alone, but um, hearing somebody saying exactly the same as you've been through and how you cope with it and things like that. And um, I actually spoke, speaking to the one guy who said that he's feeling different now from five months ago is a, a massive thing as well. So. Yeah. Aye, so fingers crossed. Does it give you hope for the future? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. Aye. Definitely. Definitely. Because it's been... It's the last been few months have been... Uh, the last few months have been really hard. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's gradually getting worse and worse and worse. And what James Jackson said as well, things happening in your life, there's things going on in life as well. And it makes sense now that going on in your life can make the tinnitus worse because you're getting more stressed out and that's causing the tinnitus to be worse. So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. So would you encourage other people to come to an event like this? Oh, definitely. 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 definitely and, yeah. I would, and I would encourage partners to go along as well because it's actually nice to get, you know, to know that your partner's got the support there too. Yeah. And it's good for you to find out a bit more about it.